the waves of grief will subside. But initially, you'll expend 85% of your energy grieving. You'll have a lack of concentration or control of emotions, which is normal under the circumstances. Your future path has been altered, but your new destination will bring unspeakable joy impossible to comprehend right now. The more you embrace it and don't deny the process, the sooner it will pass and lead to emotional healing and eventual character enhancement. The ripping apart of two is one, torn apart into ragged edges, sets you up for a bonding that's functionally without codependency. Your identity will become more defined and leave you no longer susceptible to being taken advantage of. All facades will fall away during your journey to finally leave you raw, but no longer buried, suffering, or smothered. Your true self finally breathes, and the light of day feels amazing on the face of promised hope. The antidote to devastation comes into focus as you recognize yourself as a child of destiny waiting to bloom from a withered place. The only trust that can ultimately stand in a fallen world is that which cannot be undermined or devastated by circumstance. This assuredness is supernatural and above the fragile notions of worldly attention. It's knowing your place in the universe. You were made in God's image, but distorted by an enemy who hates God and his creation, which you are a part of. This distorted product of evil entices you to stumble and transform into his reflection of decadence and suffering. But restoration resides in your knowledge that your true father sent a saving grace in his son Jesus Christ to teach true value and to celebrate you. You will feel totally and unconditionally loved in perpetuity beyond human insecurity, but is a reality across the threshold of your pain. It lies in a place of decency and warmth overflowing with wholesomeness where unspeakable joy and security sojourn. It's having God live in your heart who could form your mind into loveliness, shining with inner beauty, undeniable and inspiring to the hurting. You will be an oasis to thirsty and lost souls seeking something to erase the pain of deep loneliness. You will not only be restored, but renewed, no longer chasing what you've lost, but embracing a new thing unknown to your old self, but delightful to your new self.